All right, Ryan, a lot to get to. First of all, reclassifying 25 to 24. What went into that decision, and, and how's it feel to be thrust right into All-America status? Uh, it was definitely a really big decision. Like uh, I said, uh, you know, I had to talk to my family about it. It was something we have been thinking about since the end of my sophomore year. So it, it was definitely a really big decision. But I, I knew it was a decision that I was going to make uh, at the end of my sophomore year. So. Uh, now I'm an All-American in the 24 class. It's, it's an honor. It's a lot of great football players all around the country in the 24 class, in any class really, but uh, yeah, definitely an honor. What's your recruitment been like since that news became official? Uh, it, it's, it's sped up a lot, a lot. I've been talking to coaches every day, so yeah. Is it what you expected or is this like Oh wow! I, I didn't know this was gonna be. Like I this. mean, you kind of expect you th you thought you expected, but nah, it's like it, it's more than you expect. So, who's hitting you the hardest right now out of all the schools recruiting you? Uh, it's really you know of course Bama's coming hard because you know they of course, and then Auburn and Texas are coming as well. Anybody outside those three have a shot for a visit, or is it pretty much? This nah, I, I'm I'm pretty set on those three. Any dates that you have for official visits? Oh, I just dropped my dates earlier. Uh, the first one will be January 20th. That'll be Alabama. Then Texas the next week. The next weekend, then Auburn. The last week. Auburn's third. What are you trying to figure out, man? Like, what's going to be the separator to finish this recruiting process for you? Uh, really, I mean, I always. Well, the, the reason that I am signing on my birthday is because that's when my dad signed. So that was just something like, uh, like I always wanted to do. So, and really just fully enjoying the process because, I mean, I did skip a whole year. So, <laughs> so, so I, I do at least want to uh, enjoy the last part. So. Are you waiting to set up the in-home visits or are they going to be before? Like, how do you plan on doing all that? I don't even know yet, to be honest. I think they just going to happen. <laughs> I think it's just going to happen. What is, what what is, is your communication birthday? with Bama been? Uh, no, it's, on, it's my birthday. He nope. signed on my birthday. When is your birthday? February, February 9th. February 9th. Yeah. I didn't know this, John. Oh, you good. You good. Yeah. What's the communication been like with Alabama reclassifying mm -hmm. and them kind of, you know, turning up the heat along with these other schools, even though you're, you're committed to them? Uh, they've been very understanding with, because, uh, I mean, if I was anybody recruiting me, then I would want it, I would have wanted me to sign uh, on the 20th. But they've been very understanding. Just uh, let me enjoy it my recruiting process to the fullest because I, I have been said that I wanted to sign on my birthday. That's been something that uh, we discussed. So just them being understanding and continue to recruit, it, it definitely stands out. What went into the structure of those OB dates? Because everyone's going to read into it, Bama first, Auburn last. What went into that? I mean, uh, I was sitting in Coach Freeze's office and he said I called the last visit. So I mean, and then uh, Texas called the second to last. So. <laughs> It's That's just, just how it went. Down. Yeah, it's just how it went. There, you know. Ryan, what would it take to uh, to push you off of a Bama commitment that you've had for for some time? And, and obviously, like you said, they've respected you know your steps along the process. It would definitely take a lot because, like I said, they've been very understanding my entire process. They were the first to recruit me, and they've never uh, came out the gas. So. This will be the first time, though, with these officials, because it seems like every time you go somewhere else, you always end up back in Tuscaloosa like mm -hmm. a week or two later. Any thoughts to, to maybe Texas and Auburn getting the last two visits that maybe you won't pick Alabama in the end? Uh, I don't really think so. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, it's the recruiting process, so you never really know. So. What's that relationship with Alabama's players and signees in comparison to Auburn's? Um, you know, just talk to me about that dynamic between those two. Uh, I mean, I've known the Alabama signees and players a lot longer than I've known the Auburn uh, players and signees. So, I mean, it, it's like a basically a brotherhood and a family because I've known them so long. We're going on to the second year of us like going through the recruiting process together since my freshman year. So. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely have more of a, I guess you could say, bond with the Alabama players, but I de I'm, I'm uh, continuing to build when, with the uh, Auburn players and Texas players. Yeah. And Jalen Bakway went ahead earlier today yeah. and said, you know, Ryan Williams, he's going to be at Alabama, really making sure to prioritize you. You know, just what's that dynamic like with him? And some yeah, of that's my dog. <laughs> yeah, that's my dog. We talk all the time. Uh, I mean, that's that's literally like my brother. Like we can talk about anything. It don't have to be football. Like that's my guy. How has Texas vaulted some of these other programs to get into this final three when most people have expected Alabama and Auburn to be there? Uh, with the receiver room that they're uh, 
losing with X leaving and AD leaving, it opens up a lot of spots. And, you know, it's a big market, Texas. Uh, it's a lot of, well, uh, and they're a winning program. I mean, so uh, that had, definitely has a lot to do with it, you know, just to see what they have to, to offer on the table. Has anybody talked to you about like playing different positions or is it just receiver? Uh, uh, we'll figure it out. It's, it's receiver, but it's, it's mostly like just get on the ball. Like, uh, however on the field, get on the ball. So, Do you have a preference? Like, you want to play slot, you want to play outside, or do you care? I, I just like scoring touchdowns down <laughs> and winning games. What about the Auburn approach? Obviously, most people see, like, that's the, the top threat to Alabama. Why, why do you think that might be the case? Uh, I mean, like everybody said, the legacy, my, my dad went there. So, I mean, they already, they were already in the uh, <coughs> area. So, I mean, that's that's the main threat. I mean, just because my dad went there. So. Were you close at all last week to signing? Like, were you like, nah, I knew for a fact I wasn't signing. <laughs> I knew for a fact. I knew for a fact.